Hey everyone, it's Emily here. Many of you are probably here because you saw the yearbook, our Madison High School yearbook, that has the article on how I play the turkey baster in it. Well, that's what this video is about because the yearbooks come out tomorrow and I still haven't filmed this because schoolwork and everything is just crazy. So this video is just to show you how to play the turkey baster. So first you're going to need a turkey baster. And a lot of people are like, whoa, what's a turkey baster? So this is a turkey baster. It's basically just like a big eyedropper. It has a squishy bottom plastic. And it's used for like when you cook a turkey and you just squeeze up the juices and then put them over the turkey so the turkey doesn't dry out. But I decided, hey, this could be played as a musical instrument, so why not? So here's my tutorial on how to play the turkey baster. As I said, first you're going to need a turkey baster. And one other really important thing that you're going to need is water. So what you do is you get your turkey baster, and you get your water, which I might spill because I'm clumsy. And basically you just get a bunch of water in your turkey baster. And this may take a while, and it can be difficult, and you get really, really wet. So just be aware, this whole, throughout this whole process, you will most likely get wet. See, so you just kind of tilt it to the side and try and suck up the water. Because you want to be able to see the water up in here, and I might have to like go over to the sink because, oh, uh, see, water's dripping everywhere. Yeah. Yep, I need to go to the sink. So after you've filled it up, and you want it to be filled up, Maybe to about here. I think I filled it up a little bit too much because now I'm not going to be able to get those deeper tones in there. But that's okay for what I'm doing today. So it's filled up and what you want to do is it's just like blowing over a bottle. You just blow over the top of the turkey baster. And it makes a note. And how you change the note is you squeeze the bottom like this. And as you can see the water goes up and down and so that changes the pitch of what your turkey baster is playing. Once you get the hang of just squeezing it and going up and down, it can be fairly easy to play simple songs, but it still takes a lot of work, and I'm still not very good at playing the turkey baster. <laughs> so that was really messy, but you kind of get the gist. And really, you could play anything that you want on here. Another thing that sounds kind of cool is moves like Jagger because it has that whistling part. Another thing, it's extremely easy to change keys you're playing this because the pitch can vary just so slightly and then you change pitch really easily. So you need to know how to listen to music and to hear it if you're in the right tone, not tone, pitch or not, key, key, oh my goodness. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. There's not too much to playing the turkey baster. If you don't have one of these, you can just like go to the dollar store. That's where I got my first one. But the plastic is really hard to press and this, this plastic part, it's just, Ugh, it's just cracked and it leaks everywhere. This one's a lot better, so thanks to Olivia for buying it. She bought it for me on a band trip because we just were like, whoa, cool, it's a turkey baster. I should have another one. So thanks for that, and thanks for watching this video. Um, Don't think I'm too weird. I just have a really weird life and really weird hobbies. So thanks for watching.